Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay, today I'm going to answer a, a follower's um, questions about mule tape. Now, I don't use mule tape that much in my videos. I do have quite a bit of it, and I have used it in the past, and it does have a distinct place. This is the heavy load-bearing rope to me. This is what I carry when I've got to put a lot of weight on something, like I'm constructing a bridge or something like that where 550 paracord or bank line may not be sufficient for the load, I carry this, okay? And I carry a supply of it in my vehicle just to have an emergency pull rope and stuff like that to help me get things to and from and anchored. So I do have it. But what his question was is he's having trouble with knots in it. That they want to slip or they get so tight he can't get them out. So what I discuss a minute about different knots for mule tape. Okay, let's talk about the qualities of mule tape. It is very, very strong, and it is also very slick. You can feel that by running your fingers over that. That's the reason it's used to pull electrical wires through conduits, condor, through pipes in construction because it is so slick. It's almost like self-lubricating as they pull it through very little friction. Now, a knot uses friction to hold. So you're starting with a low friction, high strength cord. And so automatically you're going to have some, make some adjustments there. This stuff works best in some sort of constricting knot for gripping. And it works best in some sort of quick release knot for taking it down quickly because if you tie a simple square knot in this sucker and pull it blood tight with a whole lot of weight like your body hanging on it, it's going to be difficult to untie that. You're going to have to pick it apart. Yes, it will untie, but you're going to have to sit there to get it to do because it will draw down. It is so lubricating, it'll draw itself down much tighter than a rope or something of the same size, and so it makes it harder to untie such tight knots. So let me show you a constrictor knot, the way that I have used these for hanging hammocks and stuff like that. First, we're going to talk about if it's a single cord like this coming from a hammock, how I attach it to a tree. Let me just scan it. Okay, right here. If I've got a single line coming from the hammock, I'm going to go around the tree, okay? And then right here, I'm going to go over like three times. This will cause a constriction. And then I'm going to go around the tree. Now when this side pulls on that, that's going to be a constrictor. It's going to pull tighter and tighter against the tree. So even like just that, this ain't even tight. That's rock solid. That's holding right now. Now all I got to do is just bring this around here and do a simple half hitch like that. Just to keep that in from ever slipping. Okay. Now... It's got the full weight on it. It's going to hold it to strength and everything. To get it down, all i got to do is pull this line and take this line around the tree and pull down and break it, you know, like that. And it will come loose, and I can pull it down. Okay, I come up to the thing, and let's say I've got a single line, and I'm going to attach this tree. I like a timber hitch because it is a constrictor knot. Now, let me show you. I'm going to come around the tree. Then I'm going to go over the top. I'm going to take this loose end, and I'm going to make a loop three times. One, two, three, like that. I'm going to roll that loop further around the tree, put my thumb through that loop, okay? Now, making sure this end don't roll up on you like that. Now, there's the bite. Here's the flat. Now, whenever it pulls, it locks. It's locked good and tight on that, and it's not going anywhere. But to get it off, all I got to do is take that loose end and pull, and it will just fall off the tree. Okay, let me show you one more time. I come up here, I go over the top, I come back, and I form a big loop, and I spread that loop. Let me show you a little trick. When you come over the top, I come over the top, and I come under, take your finger and put right there. Keep it from twisting it up. Now take this end and do three loops. One, two, 
three and kind of scoot it around. I put my thumb into that loop. Now whenever I pull, this loop didn't twist up. When I go to do my loops, this wants to roll up. And that would be kind of bad because when I put it under load, it may slip that way. But this way, this loop is straight. Okay, it's that way not twisted up. Now when it pulls tight, it's locked. They ain't going nowhere. On the other hand, I can now just grab that loose tab on the other end and pull. And what it's going to do is going to unwrap around that line just like that and fall off the tree. So that's the timber hitch. Another hitch that I use is I will come up here and I will simply um, get it to come over. I'm going to go over. And when I get over, I'm going to go underneath the whole line, one big loop like that. I'm going to pull it around the tree, and then I'm going to, leaving that loop hanging on the back of the tree, I'm going to let it cinch and bind up. It's not truly a timber hitch, but what's happened is I've turned it into a constrictor, so it's squeezing the tree. And all that slickness actually works, but to get it off again, I just pull and it pops. So let me show you that again. Come over the top, and when I come over the top, I'm going to push the loop back up, just like that. Maybe push one more from the bottom up. I'm going to pull it around the tree. And I'm going to hold and pull that line. And it locks. Now whenever I grab that loose tab, it'll just like a timber hitch, dump it. It's sort of a half timber hitch. It's not as strong as a full timber hitch. But if I'm hanging a hammock, I'll use a timber. If I'm using the other one, I won't. Now the timber I pull tight. Now I'm going to go to the other side, but I want to pull this tight. Suppose this isn't a hammock that's going to be snug but not tight. I need something tight, okay? Well, a trucker's hitch will work in this. But what you're going to do is you're going to come out here on this and you're going to twist it over, push your loop back up, and then you're going to pull that loop tight right there, okay? If you don't do that, this wants to pull back in. That'll make a knot you can't get out. Now you come through here twice like that and then come up here and put a half hitch in it just like that that will lock that together now that will cinch down on itself just like that and be a good tight now that'll hold but to take it out all I gotta do is pull that and boom and then this will slide out okay he says that but it will pop like it where it's easy to take your finger and put. You ain't got to pick it apart. It will pull apart. Okay. The, the whole thing about mule tape is you can pull a, I mean, double twist, whatever, loop in that sucker, just like that, and it'll hold. But then whenever you go to pull it out, it'll boop, pop right back out. That's the reason it was developed for that industry for pulling through pipes in buildings for electrical because it even if it does knot up in there as it's going it'll find a way to unknot itself it will come out it'll still be slick and it will come out okay if you don't want an expensive hunk of wiring you've been planning on and planning on going down three floors and suddenly there's a knot somewhere in the thing you got to pull pipes down to figure out what went wrong that would be a bad day so therefore that's what they use for now, suppose I'm wanting it wide. Okay, I'm wanting two tabs, not just a single rope. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come from the tree, okay? And I'm gonna do this uh, where I want the two tabs going away from me. All right, I'm gonna come to the far side of the tree. I'm gonna divide my hunk of mule tape in half. I'm gonna come from that side. And when I get here, I'm going to Cross it over, just go over the top, pull it, go over the top, pull it, go over the top, pull it three times. Now I'm gonna slide that down, okay? Now that is a constrictor on itself. And then take these two tabs for it, and this is what I'm gonna tie to out here. So like I'm tying to either side of a pole on a hammock or something I'm trying to suspend, I need two lines coming off, not one. I do it this way, I put this loop on the back side of the tree. I don't want to put it on this side of the tree because it just roll this together now, wouldn't it? I want it to try to constrict and squeeze the tree. So this is a constrictor knot going away from you. And that's got 
two tabs going that way for me to anchor a hanging table or whatever. I'm going to come out here and put a, a chair hanging in the air that I'm going to sit on and lean back against a tree with. This is the way I'm going to do it. And yet when I unhook it, all I got to do is do this and it'll start rolling where I can get it and pull it apart. Even if it's blood tight, just take the two tabs and come together and kind of jiggle it, and it will un loosen it up enough where I can do this and just pull it back off the tree. So, relatively simple. Now, I want to make a noose in this. Okay, now I need to make a noose or something in this. I want to put a place where I can hook something or whatever in this so it's not a moving knot. Okay? What I want to do is I want to cross it, fold over, and pull a bite through just like you would do with a trucker's hitch. And then I'm going to take this other end, and I'm going to loop it around and go over that, just like that. That'll anchor up that side. Now that pulls that into a loop. That loop ain't going to close up, and I can pull this tight, and that's going to stay there. If I pull it tight, it don't cinch up. The friction of, being, of the the slickness of the cord has been kind of overloaded. So now this will hold as a loop. I've got something to hook to, anchor to, whatever, right there. But to get it out, all I got to do is come up here and slack the line and break the knot. I actually grab the knot and pull in two different directions like that. And you see that top loop comes right off, and I push it off. When I do, this is just like a trucker's hitch. I can grab it and pull, and it'll come right out. See? Let me show you that again. Twist it around, put it through, and pull up the loop and cinch it down. And then take the um, this end. How to tell the end? This end is bound up in the knot, so if I pull on it, this don't move. But if I take this one and pull, you see that it moves? That tells me this is the loose end. I now make a loop on that and go back over that with that loose end and pull it down. Because what you've got is in the uh, trucker's loop is one side is bound up and the other side is just sliding in and out. By doing that loop over top, now both sides are anchored and that ain't gonna pull up any tighter. So now I've got a loop I can hook to. But to get it out, all I gotta do is come up here and do this. Just take it, see where it crosses, and go bump like that and it just comes apart. When it does, this comes off the top, boop, and then you pull, and that. So I defeat the frictionless part of it by the two loops hooking together. And yet, all I gotta do is just break the knot in half and it comes apart very easy. That's the way to do it. So, in conclusion, mule tape is extremely useful in the field, especially for people that want extra security for whatever reason you don't trust bank line for your suspension mule tape is a great way to do it but understanding how to tie knot in mule tape that is not going to cause problems where i can't untie it see practice with it sit down and practice with it um tying something like a square knot is okay as long as it's not going to be under a great deal of load if it is it will draw down so tight it's very difficult to pull it back apart and you end up a lot of times having to have a tool to kind of pick it and you end up damaging the rope. We don't want to do that. We want to keep strength and keep reusing this. So I use constrictors like I showed. When I hook it to the tree, I wrap it around so it constricts really tight and pulls it down with very little strain on the line. Whenever I need a hanging loop, for whatever reason, I don't need this loop to close up for whatever reason, I do that. Uh, trucker's loop and then I put the extra loop around it so it will not slide there the knots themselves are gripping each other versus it gripping in the direction of pull if that makes any sense and then I can take it out I can also take this bring it from the far side of the tree wrap it around itself and pull back and make two lines coming off this tree that are anchored. And the more I pull, the tighter it grips the tree so it doesn't slide up and down the tree or the pole or whatever. It will stay anchored. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go. I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, guys, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.